Hey, so today we're talking about um, having a follow-up lesson on music in motion. So this is an Adobe Spark page that I've made for the students. Um, it, yeah, so we're starting with this Adobe Spark page and um, this is what it opens up. You can, the kids have the link in their syllabus, but uh, so, you know, it opens this page and we go down here and the lessons on music in motion. Um, the student will respond to music with movement, including demonstrating expressive qualities of music and changes in dynamics and tempo. Um, this is for the second grade and the third grade class. So um, they're going to be given some musical examples, and they'll be able to create movements with their bodies that portray the dynamics and tempo that they hear in the music. Um, so this first example that they click on is um, Fantasia 2000. Fifth Symphony, and it's it's from a movie, and they're gonna love it because they've probably all seen this movie before, and so it just gives them a good opportunity to connect music with um, real life examples that they already enjoy. So they'll listen to it and do some dancing and talk about if it's happy or scary or sad, and if the tempo's fast or slow, and then they'll have an opportunity to click on this link right here. Um, and blog about their dance. So it opens up and here's the slide and then they are encouraged to create their own slide with their name and blog answer and this is just an example I gave for the students just so they have an idea of what is expected um, and what to write. So they can create their own um, blog slide there and then we continue down and here's some more sites that they can explore um, talks about tempo, and then one about dynamics, and you know it just talks more in depth about the option about each of the types of dynamics and things. And the students have already learned these um, concepts in class. This is just more of a review, but just in case they missed something before, this is an opportunity for them to go back and read them. And here's one on dance as well, and. Um, so we continue down, and there is another video that the students can watch and, again, um, figure out ways that they can apply the, their music uh, motions that they've already learned to the music. Um, different motions, different, op different types of tempo and things. And then they create a final um, follow-up blog and you just click on this link again and again add another slide that talks about their movements and what they should do so yep that's the gist of it and i think the kids should be able to um understand this concept pretty quickly um, since we've already covered the material it's just a review and they can type it out and i will grade it when i return so, yep, that's what it's all about. Thanks.